what is MIVA about? Because there's those who will be wondering, another open university? All right. Thank you so much for that question, Ayo. MIVA Open University is the first privately owned open university to launch in Nigeria. We were licensed by the National Universities Commission in June 2023. We launched our first class in September 2023 as well, immediately after we obtained our license. Now, what drove us to do this, having been in the education space, primary and secondary, for over five years, we saw the challenges in tertiary education in Nigeria. I mean, we all know the statistics. 1.8 million people write JAM, the JAM UTME, every year, competing for fewer than 700,000 spaces. That means that there's, there's a million Nigerians every year who attempt to proceed from secondary to tertiary, but do not get spaces. Now, the Nigerian university system has done a lot to solve this problem, but the limitations exist in the space requirements that we have in the 271 conventional universities. Now, imagine the compounding effect of a million people every year. And also imagine how long it will take for government or private operators to build brick and mortar universities to absorb this pent up demand for university education. That is the challenge we sought to solve, to prove accessible, affordable, and very high quality university education that allows Nigerians anywhere they are located in the country to enroll and get that same quality of education that they would have gotten if they had gone to a fully residential university. Okay. And how has the market received us? In our first month after we launched post-licensing, we had 31 applications, 31 applications in our first month. When we opened our first cohort in September, we launched with 525 students. This is 10 months after. We have over 2,700 students enrolled in Meva Open University out of 75,000 applications. So that is the volume of people who have come to us seeking a space. And how did the world go around? People who have come to our classes, who have learned through our system, have gone back, they've told friends, they've told family, they've told colleagues that this is a place where you can go that allows you to combine other pursuits with your education. So that is what we are about at MIVA to give that affordable and accessible tertiary education. Thank you, Ayo. Interesting conversation so far. Well, let me ask um, the Vice President of Operations, Ms. Umor. So we understand that, of course, as has been mentioned, the uh, university is already licensed by the NUC. But then there is also the place of uh, flexibility, um, which you we understand is your one of your hallmarks in your approach to university education. So how would you say that this has, um, has impacted students and, and their ability to study effectively and maybe even the overall quality of your offerings? Uh, thank you, Ayo, for that question. And you are definitely spot on. Flexibility is a core tenant of what we offer at MIVA. Uh, we have, as an, as an ODL, students are able to learn at their own pace. They can take whatever number of courses they can handle each semester, um, and they're able to go at the program at the pace that works best for them. Um, we have students in our student body who are content creators taking computer science. We have makeup artists studying business management, soccer players studying public policy and administration. So there's really that flexibility baked into the offering in the sense that the way that the classes work, uh, we provide pre-recorded video content on our learning management system, which every student gets access to. We also have live lessons and office hours, which are synchronous sessions that allow our learners come together with their classmates to meet with their professors. So while creating this flexibility, we're giving our learners high quality education. And of course, being an ODL licensed by the National Universities Commission, we, uh, we adopt a blended learning model, 
which means that in addition to these online uh, virtual offerings, we also have some physical offerings, uh, one of our marquee ones being our master classes. Uh, we've had some incredible industry experts. These are leaders at the top of their field come and speak exclusively to our students, teaching them things that they wouldn't necessarily get from a school curriculum. We've had folks like Shola Akinlade, founder and CEO of Paystack. We've had the former permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education, Mr. David Adejo. Most recently, we had the former first lady of Kebi State, Dr. Zainab Bagudu, with us at a master class at MIBA. Um, and the registrar hinted at this already, but I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about an even more fundamental aspect of our flexibility, and that's financial flexibility. We are empathetic to the macroeconomic situation in this country. And so one of the things that we offer our students is what we call grandfathered pricing. So as soon as our students enroll, whatever tuition they pay in their first year, they pay the entirety of their program. We don't change the fees for those students. So whatever tuition you start paying at, that's the tuition you're going to pay for the entirety of your time at Neva. And that's how we really, really create a flexible, world-class, you know, cost-conscious experience for our students, offering for, for the Nigerian economy at large, honestly. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'll stick with you for a bit. By the way, uh, you've used that technical language twice, ODL. Open and distance learning, I believe you mean? Correct. That's oh. correct. Open and distance learning. Okay. Uh, but then there's the place of support. You've mentioned some big names here, and there are those who are wondering, wait a minute, I don't belong in that category yet, but you've also spoken about the flexibility uh, in finances. But then how about support? What kind of support? does MIVA offer uh, to your students? And in what, um, in what ways do you prepare your students for the job market? So this is a great question because, you know, as a technology first institution, you mentioned that we were founded by ULASEN. Um, as a technology first institution, we care a lot about collecting data and feedback. And this is something that we do with our learners every single semester. I've mentioned some of the offerings we have, live lessons, office hours, pre-recorded content. But what we've gotten back from our students as far as what has been the most impactful thing for them has been what we call success advisors. And success advisors are assigned to every single student at MIVA. And these success advisors call our students, check in on them on a consistent basis to ensure that they have everything that they need to excel at MIVA. Wherever they need to be connected to a faculty member or any other additional support, the success advisor is the first line of contact to them. And if you speak to any MIVA student, this is one of the most frequent things that you're going to hear, that their success advisor is always there, their success advisor is always contacting them, making sure that they're on the track that they, that they need to be in order to be successful at the school. In addition to this, you know, we also have office hours, so our students can set up meetings with their faculty members and talk with them one-on-one, -on -one, get their specific questions answered. But when you take a step back and think about the purpose of a university, right, we want to set people up to be successful in their careers, whether that's they're starting their own business or they're going into the employer market. And we are very intentional about setting up our students who want to be employed for that. So I've mentioned that we're tech first. We were building a platform, and I won't say too much about this. Um, join Miva and you'll get to learn more. But we're setting up a platform that's going to be very instrumental in connecting our students with employers. We've already started, because of the relationships that we have, to give our students opportunities to intern at some world-class um, organizations, and that's going to be happening over the course of the year as we build out that platform that I'm talking about. Okay. Well, interesting. Let, let me ask you, uh, Mr. Quitty, about your program offerings. Uh, what, what programs does uh, MIVA offer, and what are the requirements 
All right, thank you for that question, Ayo. We, we launched with a school of computing. The school of computing has cutting edge courses like a bachelor's in computer science, cyber security, data science, software engineering, and information technology. We have a school of management and social sciences which, with bachelor's programs in economics, accounting, public policy, entrepreneurship, mass communication and media studies, and accounting. We also have a school of allied health, which is very important to us because we know what the health, healthcare deficits are in Nigeria. We have a school of allied health that has courses in nursing science and public health. Recently, we also got licensed by the National Universities Commission to offer postgraduate programs. So we have an MBA class, a master's in business administration class, launching in September. Already students are enrolling for this. We are going to offer the best in class business management masters that will have global status. The requirements to get into Miva Open University, like we said, we are an ODL university but we are the same as a full-fledged university anywhere in the country. In fact, the Honorable Minister for Education two weeks ago made a policy statement that degrees from ODL universities are the same. They are equivalent to the degrees that you obtain from conventional universities. So the admission requirements to our undergraduate programs are the same. You need to have your five O-level credits, including English and mathematics. Of course, the other ones pertaining to the program that you've applied for. Now, as an open distance learning university, you do not need to have sat the JAM UTME in the year that you apply. Mm. Open universities can, students can enroll in open universities through the distance learning application system also provided by the Joint <coughs> Admissions and Matriculation Board. So for the many people who are interested now and in the future to enroll into Miva Open University. You will go to our website, miva.university. Once you apply, we will guide you through application with us. I will also guide you through the processes you need to do with JAMB. So these are the requirements to make it most accessible mm. to students who want to study at Miva. Thank sound, you, Ayo. Sound easy already and enticing for some people. And well, yeah. uh, Ms. Moore mentioned some people who have identified, who have attended MIVA, and she made sure that she mentioned very, very important persons, which is a good thing. She is a marketer; I can't take that away from her. But what can you can, can you share some success stories uh, of some of your students who have and how they have balanced work and life, and how they balance work and life with education? with the support of MIVA. All right, thank you so much for that, Ayo, and that is important to us, to offer the flexibility that means that you don't have to stop what you're doing. You can keep being whatever you are, you can keep contributing to society and to the economy, yet obtain a high quality degree. We have a student of ours who is a footballer, Sporting Lagos, he plays professional football. I mean, he's on the field, he does his training, he does his league matches, Yet he's a public policy student at MIVA and he's, he's up to date with his studies because of the support that we offer. We have another student, when we did exams, exams are written physically, we have centers all over the country where you come in to attend your exams. We have a student who is a director in one of the federal ministries here in Abuja. We had exams and he came in in the morning for a morning paper, did an 8 to 10 a.m. morning paper. He went back to the office, did some work, came back in the afternoon to do his afternoon paper. So he continued to be present at his job, continued to contribute there, yet he wrote exams. And I tell you, those subjects he did that day, he had A's in those subjects. So that's the kind of flexibility we offer. There are many examples of this nature. There are people who are nurses, who are full-time nurses, who combine their work and their study. When they have exams, they may take a one-week leave, come in to a center, do that exam. Another thing we offer is to write those statutory physical exams. You do not need to leave your city. You can do your exam right in the city where you live or somewhere close. 
our nursing student, as obtained in the university system, have to go to do practicum, clinical practicum in tertiary hospitals all over the country. Mm -hmm. What we've also done for flexibility is we form partnerships with a hospital in your city, a tertiary hospital in your city. You don't need to travel from Benue to Abuja or from Calabar to Port Harcourt to do your practicum right in your city. You can get that done to the highest quality. So this is a type of flexibility. There are many of these stories. These are just a few. Thank you, Ayo. All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Kwiti. Well, Ms. Moore, what would be your appeal or your word of encouragement to anyone watching right now who is already being pulled in by your sweet words? Thank you, Ayo. I will say, I hope you hear these words that, you know, we understand what's happening in the economy. We don't think that anybody needs to choose between a professional life and career progression and education progression, right? You can continue to earn, then you can learn at MIVA, and you can earn more. So my call to you is go visit our website, miva.university, check out the programs that we have on offer, check out our MBA, which is launching September 2024. Applications are already open. We already have students enrolling. So go, there's definitely something for you at MIVA and you truly will be impressed by the experience that you have, just as our over 2,700 students already have. Mm. Well, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Umar, for that. And we can only wish you and the organization well. Anyekeme Umar is Vice President of Operations, MIVA Open University. And we've also had with us Mr. Tianyi Akwiti, who is a registrar, MIVA Open University. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time and all the best all the time.